Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today I'm going to show you how you can create this linear carousal animation in After Effects using expressions only. Now to create this, you don't need any kind of third party plugin, no fancy mathematics. This is just simple After Effects. So let's see how to make this. So it's in After Effects and today we are going to create this linear carousal animation but if you want to make this 3D rotating carousal then I have uploaded a tutorial on that as well. You can watch it right now by clicking on this link or you can click the link in the description as well. Now let's continue. Here I have already imported a couple of these images. Now it's completely up to you. You can use any image, video or whatever element you want. So first let's begin by creating a new composition. Let's call this one main. But then it will be 19, 20 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps duration just pick whatever you want click on ok now we are going to create our first carousal composition so let's call this one image one and for this one i'm going to set the width to 500 by 600 now for this one i'm going to make vertical carousal but it's completely up to you can make horizontal ones as well so depending upon that you can change the width and height rest of things will remain same just click on ok now here we have our composition now inside this we can drag any of these images so let's drag this one I'm going to quickly press S. Let's just scale this down. Now we can add a little bit of border to this. So for that, let's select the rounded rectangle tool. Then just simply double click on it and make sure that you are inside this layer. Once you have there, let's search for size and we can uncheck these values or maybe let's just keep it over here. Just scale this down till you find something that looks good. Now on this one, we are going to change the fill and I'm going to set this to 100 stroke. We can set this to zero. Maybe let's increase the size a little bit. So this looks good. Now we can select this. Let's search for rounded corners. Increase it a little bit. So this to 50 or maybe 40 looks good. Perfect. Now we want our shape to be visible through this window. So for that, we can select this and just change the track mat and just pick whip this. Now, in case you're using the older versions of After Effects, then you won't have this pick whip. You will have like alpha mat, alpha inverted. So you can just update it to the newer versions. Now we want to have a little bit of border as well. So for that, we can select this layer, press Ctrl D. Let's place this at the bottom and we want it to be visible. And on this one, we can change the fill to zero and let's just increase the stroke. I'm going to set this to eight. So now you can see we have this very nice border around it for the color is up to you we can, i'm going to use this blue color now here we have our first carousal window in the same way you can create any number of windows you can like have 5 10 20 or whatever you want so i'm going to select this let's press ctrl d i'm going to create six windows so let's press ctrl d six times so we have six layers now select the image two and on this one we can select this image all we have to do is replace it by simply selecting this layer hold on the alt key and just drag it onto this so you can see now it has replaced it we can press s to scale this up now we have image 2 let's go to image 3 select this hold on the alt key select this image and just drag it onto this press s we can play around with the size of it maybe let's place it over here and the same way you can change the images in the rest of the compositions as well so before we continue if you enjoy my work and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files exclusive templates and all the other advanced vfx and cgi tutorials that are available only on patreon so make sure to check them out link for that is in the description now let's continue so now i have changed all of these images now our next step is to create the carousal so for that first we can import one of our images inside our main composition now first let's create a controller so right click new let's add a null object and we can call this one controller so just rename it and make sure you rename all of these layers and effects correctly because if you don't then expressions won't work and you will get a lot of errors and on top of this we are going to apply slider controller so let's search for slider controller and let's drag it onto this now we are going to rename this and i'm going to call this one index now let's press ctrl d to duplicate this let's call this one spacing and let's duplicate it two more times and this one we can call it min scale and this one we can call it max scale like that now again make sure your spellings are correct otherwise expressions won't work so once you have added this we are ready to add our expression so for that i'm going to use this one so just simply select this press ctrl c to copy it now we can paste it to the image so let's select this one let's press p for position hold on the alt key and let's click on the stopwatch now if i press ctrl v you can see our expression has been pasted and we are not getting any errors because all of our layers are correctly named. Now we can paste the expression to the scale as well. So let's select this, press S. 
So now for the scale, we are going to use this expression. Now I will put all of these expressions in the comments or the description below. So you can copy it from there. Just copy it and go to your image. Hold on the Alt key, click on the stopwatch and just paste it. Now your image will disappear because our scale is set to zero. So max size, we can set this to 100 and minimum size. It's up to you. You can set this to 50 for now. Now we are done with our expression. Our next step is to create this carousal. So for that, we can select this layer and let's duplicate it like six times because we have six images. There you go. Now we can select our controller and we can increase the spacing between them. It's up to you. You can just increase it however you want. Now we can navigate to any of these images just by simply animating this index slider. So for example, if I set this to two, then you can see it will go to the second image. If I set this to four, then it will go to the fourth image. Now in the same way, you can animate it as well. But first we have to replace all of them with their respective images. So let's select this image one and we can replace it by our image two by holding down the alt key. Just click and drag. There you go. Now let's select the next one. Hold on the alt key, click and drag. Select the next one and repeat this till you have changed all of these images. So now I have updated all of them. Now it's completely up to you can create a carousal for like 10 images, 20 images or even 100 images. All you have to do is just duplicate these layers and later on you can animate them using this slider. So first let's just simply set it to let's say somewhere around 4. Then we can add a keyframe. Let's press U. Let's move like a little bit ahead and we can easily change it to let's say 6. So it will go to the last image. We can go a little bit more and let's just set this to 1. So it will go to the first image. Now if I press play you can see all of these images will be animating like that. You can also select these keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Let's go to the graph and we can change the curves to look like that to create a little bit of more interesting motion. So they will start slow and then they will have this quick motion like this. Now, if you want to fill this gap, then what you can do is you can select all of them, press Ctrl D and let's just place them at the bottom. Again, press Ctrl D and let's place them at the bottom as well. Now we have this very long carousal. Now we can increase the slider counter as well. So let's say we set this to 16 and then you can see it goes back to six and we can maybe set this to 12. Just simply animate them wherever you are. Instead of coming to back to one, we can just set this to let's say 15. So now if I press play, you can see our carousal will animate and it will go to its respective position. Just like this now you can play around with all of these parameters a little bit more so for example if i select the spacing i can increase the space between these images however i want i can also play around with the minimum scale so if i want all of these images to be smaller which are like far away then you can just set this to like this negative value so now you can see all of these images will become slower smaller as they are going far away from the center we can also increase the scale of the middle image and we can play around with the spacing and we can like make them even smaller there you go now we have created this look so in this way you can customize this depending upon what kind of look you are going for using these slider indicators so once you're done with this we can add some really nice glow to this so let's create an adjustment layer so right click new let's add an adjustment layer now on top of this we can search for glow now you will notice one more thing if I create one more layer, so if I select this, press Ctrl D, you can see all of these images will change because our index is changing as well. So in order to fix that, what we can do is we can move this controller down below because we don't have to actually keep it at the top. We only need this. Now we can increase the radius and let's decrease the glow intensity. Let's select this, press Ctrl D and on this one, we can increase both of these. Let's increase both of them. Now we have this very nice stylized glowy look. There you go. Now we have added this very nice glow to them. Now our next step is to create some really nice reflections as well. So for that, we can create a new composition. Let's call this one final. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080. Frame rate you can just stick with 30 FPS. Just click on OK. Now let's drag in our main composition. Now we can select this, press Ctrl D to duplicate this. We can select the bottom one and let's right click, go to transform and let's just flip it vertically. Now we can select that and just bring it down below. Now we can change both of their these layers blending mode to add so that the bottom one is visible as well. Now we can just place it over here. Perfect. Now we can select this press T and lower down its opacity so that we have this very subtle view of this. Now at last we can create a solid and stylize this more by adding some nice colors at the background search for four color gradient let's drag it onto this 
now we can change their color let's make this one black let's make this one black as well this one black as well you can place this at the bottom and there you go now we have this very be beautiful carousel animation in after effects now the best thing is that you don't have to repeat anything all you have to do is just duplicate these layers and then just simply animate them using these indexes as well so this is how you can create these kind of linear carousals in after effects now if you want to create 3d rotating carousals as well then i have uploaded a tutorial on that as well you can watch it by clicking on this link now the project file for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files exclusive templates and all the other advanced vfx and cgi tutorials that are available only on patreon so make sure to check them out link for that is in the description and with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one Thank you.